wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? Oh Righty! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for the 2022 season. Oh, the things I am hearing. Woo, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a great season. I am beyond excited to get into the park and film some of these amazing things. Um, but nonetheless, let's get right into the update. I can't talk about these things. Um, any... I can't talk about these things yet. Um, but nonetheless... Let's talk about what's going on right now. So a lot of you have seen um, this blue thing over by the cell tower. I haven't covered it because it's literally just a 5G network upgrade occurring to the cell tower. Nothing important. Anyways, moving on. Um, outside of that, Wonderland is prepping for the season. Um, as you can see right now, uh, this is them transporting dirt from the construction site over to where the hotel is located. Um, and that's where they dump it. Not, I worded it like the hotel is already located there. Where the hotel was supposed to be located. Um, so they're transporting the dirt over there. They're storing the dirt over there. That is the only reason there's dirt and bulldozing going on over there. There's no hotel in the works um, currently. Uh, it is on hold, is what we've been told. It is ready to go the minute Cedar Fair wants to build a hotel at Canada's Wonderland. They can start it up. It's approved and ready to go. But right now, it's just on hold until Cedar Fair greenlights the project again. Um, but with that being said, uh, still nothing over by Dinosaurs Alive, but we do expect there to be some sort of things to report on as you enter the park for the 2022 season. Um, I do think that 2023 is looking pretty exciting, but I'm going to focus on 2022 because, woo! Um, with that being said, um, I'm trying to think of anything else before I showcase the hotel. Or the hotel. Clearly, I'm so excited that I've lost my train of thought uh, before I showcase the restaurant because, boy, is the restaurant looking awesome massive it's now that the footprint is like dug out and i can see like the cement and concrete and the plumbing pipes and the electrical pipes and all that this thing's gonna be amazing remember it's gonna be two stories um based off of what i'm seeing on the construction site i think the back end of it only is gonna be two stories and i think it's gonna be some sort of like ski lodge uh theme uh based off of what grace had told us so it's gonna look like some sort of ski lodge um, it looks like the back end of it's going to be two stories, so you'll be able to get on higher ground and overlook Vortex and Yukon Striker. Um, and yeah, it, it's the footprint of this restaurant is looking really impressive. So I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to check it out um, in 2022. And I definitely am super excited for all the other new things coming to the park as well. Um, no new updates in terms of Mindbuster. Again, in my previous video, I said it could take two to three weeks before we see anything. Um, Wonderland does still have carpenting, carpenter positions open, um, which is another good sign. Again, there are other reasons they could be hiring carpenters, but we do suspect some sort of retracking to occur on their wooden coasters, as it seems to be a regular off-season thing that Wonderland does. So it's just something we expect. Nothing going on at Kingswood. Um, again, it is just sitting barren. There are no plans currently to fill that land with anything, so they are in no rush to remove Kingswood, but the tent will be coming down. Um, again, here is just them installing their little 5G network to the cell tower. Um, outside of that, uh, trains are going back on. One of Backlot's trains already, two trains on Behemoth currently, um, and uh, as they get ready to start training soon, um, it's crazy to even use that word soon, but yes, Wonderland has started hiring about a week and a half ago, um, and I believe rides will be done hiring sometime soon, and training will commence, and yeah, we'll get to start seeing rides testing um, probably around the end of March uh, is when we'll see rides start training. So actually, you know, the, sec uh, the third week of March, we could start seeing some rides operational, maybe even the second week of March, um, which is kind of crazy to think about because we're already like halfway through February. So to think that literally in a month, we could see rides testing and, you know, being prepped preventative maintenance wise uh, is pretty insane. So super excited for that. 
Um, nothing else to report on yet. Again, there are obviously things that I can't talk about yet, but I will say it is going to be a really exciting season for enthusiasts at Canada's Wonderland. Um, and it's just going to be a really great overall, super awesome enhancement to the parks. Um, the park for Canada's Wonderland, and I'm sure the park is going to announce a lot of these things sometime soon. So super excited about that. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. Um, we're going to start doing weekly updates here uh, on Canada's Wonderland as things start to ramp up as we head into the 2022 season. Um, we do suspect that there will be no restrictions on Canada's Wonderland as they open in the 2022 season, except for masks. And uh, even with masks, that literally could not be the case. It could be zero restrictions on Canada's Wonderland outdoors and just masks required indoors. Um, and that is as of current. And as we know, um, going through this for the last two years, things can change at any moment. But yeah, super exciting news. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty normal summer here at Canada's Wonderland. And I am definitely really excited for the future of Canada's Wonderland. And I know you guys are going to be too. So can't wait. Can't wait to see all of you guys um, in the park on April 30th. We'll be there. And I just want to say, honestly, thank you so much for supporting the channel, choosing to watch our videos, and taking any amount of time out of your day to even just listen to what I have to say about Canada's Wonderland. So honestly, thank you so much. Hope you guys are staying strong and staying positive through this pandemic and have a good one. Have a good week, guys. Bye.